you haven't picked up on it yet, we're doing three times 300, similar to what we would do at the track, but now it's uh, on the turf and flat. 12 minutes rest in between, and it sucks. Pizza yesterday made it even better. Also, how good did that pizza look? Fire as well. Um, today's workout was a tough one. Uh, three times 300 basically on the turf. Uh, we try and measure out to be as exact as possible. We went 39 point, uh, 37 point, and then 36 point on the last one. So pretty much negative split all of the efforts, which is great for what we're trying to do, um, trying to maintain. A uh, little sneak peek of potentially tomorrow's video or a video coming up soon. There is talk of the season opening back up in the next few months. Next few months. I'm talking about food, now I'm thinking about munching. Um, in the next few months. So that could be, could be big for Phoenix Track Club, could be big for a lot of people throughout the world. Um, we are yet to see what we're gonna get as far as decathlons, but my teammates could have some cool stuff coming up in the future. So pretty much all day today, I've just been waiting around for the GoPro attachments to actually get here to come so that I can set it up, not be as afraid to take it out and do stuff like this, because I'm being very careful with how I film. Obviously I'm on a skateboard, but I'm trying to be as cautious as possible while filming on it, because for it being so small, it is quite an expensive little camera, but like I said, it could be crazy what we're doing. Like this whole thing has been so stable and beautiful, not shaky up and down, just beautiful footage. I would like to get that with the new mounts from GoPro that are supposed to get here today. Uh, they literally should be here any minute. I'm waiting for a text on my phone because I've been so anxious to get them that I literally set up like text alerts so that they would send me when I was getting, or when I was going to be getting the delivery so that I could rush home wherever I was or rush out to the door, rush to the mailbox, pick them up so I can start filming with it. But anyways, I'm gonna continue to skate around the neighborhood and hopefully wait for a text message. I'll check back in with you guys and if luck has it, we'll have some new mounts. Yeah. 
raising the Tobago's We growing like fresh tomatoes Them boys on fire to fuego We pass it round hot potato Everything is new wavo I'm with my sweetie like Quavo Need my cheese, need that queso Need my bread, need that bankroll Wake up, yes lord, I'm thankful Another day on my schedule and that brings us to this moment. The GoPro stuff is here. So, this is called a roll cage, I believe. And it's the thing, it's the thing that's going to protect the GoPro from getting beat up, smacked, kicked, uh, hit with a javelin, I don't know. But it's going to protect it from getting scuffed up in a lot of major ways. First of which is going to be this replaceable screen protector. One, it works very well with the GoPro, because so obviously it's made by GoPro. Two, it's got a silicone case that goes around it. You can still access everything, which is super nice. You have to pop it off to change the battery, but other than that, it just pops right on there. Next. Um, for when I'm not using that, I really don't want to scuff up this lens, and I don't want to scuff up or damage the back um, LCD screen. So we went with a tempered glass lens protection. Um, I don't know how expensive they actually are. They're like they're kind of expensive, but obviously expensive camera. And then the one that I'm super excited about, the one that I saw a bunch of YouTubers using, so I was like, eh, I should probably get it. One, it'll be dope for when I go to lakes or the ocean or anything out in the pool to bite mount with a little floaty thing on. So, let me open up this bad boy. Hello? Wow, it smells very, uh, honestly, it's orange like a Nike shoe. That's what it smells like. Um, so this, it's just a regular GoPro mount on this side, but when you go to use it, you uh, put the GoPro on here, put this in your mouth, and now I can do a lot of stuff with this in my mouth. I'm pretty excited. Oh man. It doesn't come out. It's very stable, so it won't. We got hurdles tomorrow. Mmm. Mmm. Probably won't need a floaty case for the hurdles tomorrow, but. Mmm. GoPro, right here, using it, doing all the things with my hand, because I'm hand free. Boom. Let's go. Anyways, um, now that the GoPro stuff is here, the vlog is pretty much filled up and we're gonna end it there. I need ideas for titles slash stuff. I know that I post a lot of stuff about track and field, but um, I think that there's other stuff that you guys are interested in about my life other than just running. That's why I do a daily vlog and I want you guys to be able to contribute to that. So if you have any ideas and you've stuck around this far, that means you're probably a subscriber. You actually enjoy talking to me or listening to me talk, which is weird to begin with. But that being said, I'd love to hear your guys' ideas. So just shoot them my way, either Instagram, Twitter, whatever you DM me on, or just leave them in the comments below. That's probably the easiest way. But remember, be nice to people, don't hurt yourself, don't hurt others, slow down, don't dance so fast. I'm in love with this new camera. I hope you guys are too. Let me know what you guys think of the footage. Just uh, let it let it get to 4K before you watch it. Okay. Talk to you guys all tomorrow. Okay, bye.